Hello. Good news. I just got a molt from a white knee. So, this is the one which he molded from a couple of months ago. And this is one which he did last night. So, let's see if we can get a nice focus on them. Come on. Okay, well, here it is. I'm pretty big. So, it's now too big for the enclosure, and it's going to have to be changed. So, into this one. So that's a bit bigger but I mean a lot bigger but I think he's gonna mold quite a bit in the next six months so that should be okay. But I was not expecting him to mold at all. And that's quite I think this this one was six centimeters. I think about that. So now it's all tucked up now, so I can't really tell. But from that to that in I think about three months. So that's a lot of growth. These two are doing all right. Focus. Oh, but yeah, very slight coloration. Should show my next mop. And here's the green bulb bill. Blue. Can't really see that, but it's doing fine. I haven't seen my like, curly hair in a while. So, I don't know. But, yeah, quite happy. As you can see, the colours are still really dark on this malt. So, it's going to be cool, so I'm hoping some for, more, for some more this year. So, well, it's only just started, so I should get quite a few. I hope I'm going to be smithy malt some more. That'll be good. And I might invest in some slings as well. So, but if this giant whiny happens to be a male then I'll probably be sending him off when he matures so I don't mind either way because if it's a male then I could still get some more giant whinies from from breeding so that would be alright isn't it? pretty cool tees, I like them but yeah I say I might be getting, I don't know, I might put an AVIC in that. So we'll see. Just see what happens. But it's a bit of a waste. I'm just not going to put anything in it. It's pointless, so I should. So I'm just waiting for the right offers and whatnot. Alright, thanks for watching and goodbye.